Hey, what's up guys? Diplox here again. Welcome to Homeworld. Today we're going to try out the Star Wars Warlords mod. And I've got an interesting little scenario set up here. Uh, we're going to do a player versus CPU. And we're going to go with the reinforcements game mode, which essentially means you, you pull in cruisers and frigates and destroyers and all that uh, all based on the uh, resources you have we're gonna max out and go with like two million um, we are going to be build restricting it to Hoth so there's a lot of different eras here there's the old republic clone wars which is pretty cool if you want to do the republic versus the cis we have the uh, pre a and h and we have the a and h which is like uh, a new hope we also have Hoth which is obviously Hoth and that's what we're doing. Um, so that's around the time of the Battle of Hoth. We've got ROTJ and post ROTJ, which is uh, Rise of the Jedi and post uh, Rise of the Jedi. I believe that like when you came towards the end here at post ROTJ, that's when the uh, Alliance became stronger and stronger and uh, started sort of defeating them at Endor and stuff. So there's a lot of different um, um, errors here, but I don't have a super good idea of what exactly happened in what movies i'm trying to i think the second movie had the battle of hoth in it the f the the third one and i'm talking about the the in release order not in 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 sort of story order and the third one have the had the battle of endor in it so um yeah do 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 let's um let's start here we're gonna be playing as the empire we're gonna be go, going up against the alliance let's put them on hard uh because i have a little uh I have a little ace up my sleeve. You guys probably have already guessed what it is, judging by the thumbnail and the tit title. The title, the title, title, title. Um, but let's start the game and uh, just head straight in. It's very basic. And this is just beautiful. I mean, look at the the atmosphere. I think Homeworld and Homeworld 2 is like my favorite. There is a new Homeworld Remastered Edition. Uh, this mod is running on Homeworld 2, so it's not under the same remastered sort of 4K HD experience, but it looks. Sh Good as hell, anyway. Just let me let me pull some things in here so that we don't sit here barehanded when the rebels show up. Uh, I'm gonna call in some Imperator destroyers. We're gonna begin with uh, four of these. That is super cool, and the scale is massive. I gotta tell you though, I think Homeworld Ready, is my favorite space combat game. Homeworld one and two. I have only really played a lot of Homeworld two. I, I gotta check out Four. Homeworld 1, the remastered edition. I bought a big package yesterday uh, when I found out about this mod. So that's super cool. And the, the space combat is just a little larger in scale. The ships are larger. And look at that glare. Look at that freaking solar flare glare, whatever you want to call it. And look at the, the way it just like reflects off the, uh, the hull here on the ships. It's a massive Imperator 1 destroyers coming in here. This is amazing. I love the level of detail. Space combat is great in these games. Um, since of a solar empire has great like campaign play and lots of tech and sort of like uh, strategic gameplay when it comes to the whole sort of campaign map but they've really focused on the actual space battles in this game a lot more and i i really enjoy that so we're going to begin this game with four imperator one destroyers and if it turns a little uh, sour towards the end we're gonna add in you know it the king of them all the executor star dreadnought which is someone's capital ship i guess um the the Darth Vader or what's his name, um, the senator so, or the emperor rather said so um, we'll we'll see where that takes us. They've called in three ships to begin with. We've got uh, an MC eighty B Liberty, two MC three MC eighty B Liberties. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, they usually call in a lot of other smaller ships too. They might not have appeared yet, but I guess it depends on the difficulty you play with and all that stuff. And they're just gonna be cruising around. Star Destroyer, reporting in for duty. We've spotted the rebel threat. So this is during the Hoth period, when the Empire was pretty strong. Hadn't really suffered any defeats, I guess, since they won that battle too. We're going to be tagging along with one of these guys, oh, can I? I? Oh, look at all the damage models. That's awesome. Ready? Ready. Reporting. Yeah, we're coming in, boss. Ready, sir. How do I... There's a way that I can follow you. Oh, okay, maybe not you then. Form up. Form up. Battle order. Rebel threat spotted. Oh, they've got some Karelian missile frigates. They're calling in more ships. They've got more reinforcements. And look, they called in some independence cruisers. These are massive. Are you shitting me? Look at this. And they're even sending in some, uh, some R-41 star chasers, some skip ray blast boats. We need to counter that with some uh, TIE fighters, I guess. One, two, three. 
And let's get some interceptors and some bombers. They're not very expensive. In fact, is they're very cheap. Reporting. Reporting. Tie fighter reporting for duty. Engaging rebel threat. Look at this. The rebel fleet. We've got enemy contact. Got independence cruisers. We have the assault frigates, Karelian missile frigates, enemy dreadnoughts. A lot of different support ships here. They're going to be broadsiding. Oh man, this is awesome. This is the best space battle experience you're ever going to have. And the explosions are so good, too. Some missiles are going off here, I guess. Uh, oh man, look. Coming in low. Star Destroyer, opening fire. This guy's going to go up, though. Oh, shit. This is so cool. Let's get our bombers. Where are the bombers? Where the bomb was at? Oh, explosion! Taking heavy fire! Oh, explosion! Oh man, we're getting close with him here. Roger that. Taking fire. Got our TIE fighters engaging. A lot of shit going on here. There's a, there's even space wreckage in this game. How cool is that with this thing here? It's just amazing. Let's uh, call in the big boy. Let's do this. Executor, star class. Dreadnought has arrived. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, it's just gonna rise from the bottom there. Oh, this is cool stuff. They've, uh, they've stopped firing at this Imperator. They're focusing on the center one. Taking heavy fire! Pull out! Pull out! All systems down! Engines failing! Well... Executor Star Dreadnought. Reporting for duty. Fuck it. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Need some more reinforcement to go with it. We've got some Victory One destroyers that we can send in as well. Uh, I don't think we could afford more than one at the moment. That's fine. We need to be careful though, because we're losing. Oh, destroyers like left, right, and center. I wonder if our Executor Star and Dreadnought can handle the enemy. Frigates went down below us here in a big explosion. And we are about to lose our remaining two Star Destroyers here that have taken just a lot of heavy fire. So that is a bit of a rebel victory in itself. Oh, so bright. Look at that graphic, it's amazing. But we have the beast of them all coming in from the south. This ship is bigger than all of our own, all of the other ships combined. It makes the independence cruisers and MC-80Bs look like tiny Ready little toys. Enemy contact. Let's do this. We're just gonna ride past them. Guidance failure. Fucking hell, look at this thing. Oh, some more explosions going on over here. I'm not sure what's going on. But I believe our TIE fighters and bombers are getting to work. We're gonna target this dreadnought here. Oh, do you hear those TIE Fighters squeal? Oh, look at that Star Dreadnought just blast this piece of shit. Yes. Yes, Imperial Firepower. Ooh, it's Christmas. Coffee. Eleven months early. Yes. Fire all batteries. Another Rebel Sheep. Rebel, rebel sheep. I'm not entirely sure what that's about. Maybe that's a bit of an insult. Oh, look, a little asteroid. Ooh, I meant to say the rebel fleet. Taking heavy casualties, sir. Good. Fire all batteries. All reserve power to main board batteries. Look 
this beast. It's not from this world, this thing. <laughs> Ready. Ready. Look at all the scrap around here. Hmm? Look at the health on this thing. It's barely touched. It's crazy. I ask myself, how's the rebel fleet going to be able to deal with this? Well, they've taken down four Star Destroyers, which is decent in itself, I presume. Now the shields are taking a beating here. But, four Star Destroyers, what is that to the Empire? Not a lot. Okay, so, well, we definitely can't build anything else. Um, did we just get something extra? No, I don't think so. Yeah, this thing really does cost bank, so to speak. So, the MC-80B Liberty, which is a pretty big um, cruiser, I guess, looks really tiny, or destroyer, or whatever it is, looks really tiny compared to these massive independence cruisers. They look kind of cool, but they look very alien-like, a lot of rounded-off shapes. I prefer the edgy, sort of more industrial look of the Empire. I really do. It's more... <laughs> Realistic, anyway. We're gonna target fire on that bad boy up there and bring him down. Look at the underneath of this thing. Look at this. We're getting close. We're getting really close. Can we get our bombers to finish that thing off? Oh, it just disappeared. Well, I guess the damage bombs aren't completely done yet. This is still in beta. Can I? Thank you. Can I spectate the actual battle? Destroyer here. Destroyer here. You're more than a destroyer. My young son, you are a dreadnought. You are dreadful towards the enemy, I must say. You're so rude. We can do like an attack move order kind of thing on the side here. So, look, he's just gonna put power to the engines and kind of stare it up sideways by firing all these little guns and batteries that they have around all this hull. Let's look at this. Execute a star dreadnought. It's like a pizza slice. It's like a really good, really good slice. Pepperoni. You know. So, they've got some blast boats. We're still. Can I? I can't. My camera's all messed up. There we go. Nice. Okay, back on level. We're going to be watching these TIE fighters deal with this gunboat. Got two TIE fighters and. No, yeah, we've got about three TIE Fighters in total. They've got two of these. Three of these blast boats, so. Pretty even, I presume. Not entirely sure what our TIE Fighters are fully capable of doing, but right now they're kind of trying to outmaneuver them. <laughs> ah, there goes the last Liberty. Blown to bits and pieces. Yes, yes. Moving forward. You are pretty, boy. You are so pretty. Oh, shit. I think I heard some screams there in space. But they say no one can hear you scream in space. Some of the flat guns are going to engage that blast boat. It's a bit overpowered to shoot like 300 millimeter uh, gun batteries at uh, one of these things. Our skip ray blast boat. Never heard of them before. Oh, can I? <laughs> uh, yeah, so two TIE Fighters versus some substantially larger blast boats. Um, they're probably in shape or in size of the, like, the, the Falcon, whatever it's called now again. Mill Mi Millennium Falcon? Yeah. Look about to be in, the si in that size. The TIE Fighter wasn't a lot smaller than it anyway, so... Yeah, that's about it. It's about right. Ready. Can we engage? Let's see how well our Star Dreadnought does against the Blast Boat. Something tells me they'll destroy a big MC-80B uh, cruiser or something like that uh, faster than these smaller Blast Boats for some reason. Because hitting them is, seems to be a problem. We're not really gaining, <laughs> getting any hits on them. Look at the the maneuverability of this thing, though. They're doing something to the, the rearboard engines to just kind of make it climb. We just lost a TIE Fighter. Well, this battle could be, could be troublesome, Commander. Can we maneuver through this scrap? Your we just lost another TIE Fighter, so now it's these blast boats. 
uh, up against our massive star dreadnought. That doesn't seem to be much of a fight, in my opinion. We're like not hitting them. And they're engaging my little thing. Look, they're doing a strafing run. This is some great footage, though. There we go. Now we're starting to hit it. There one goes. So I really love the space combat system. Just because you can target it and shoot it doesn't mean you'll hit it. In this case, it doesn't mean they necessarily hit it, but now they're getting closer to it. Look, they're even dropping some bombs on us. Probably killing off a couple of hundred down there. But now, as soon as they get close, that health just starts to drop so drastically. Look at it. Look at it go. Woo! Like a little firework place. Oh my god, look at this beast can he block out the sun more or less can I there we go he blocks out the sun that is what he does back in hell it's like a pizza slice I love it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more let me know and I can simulate some more combat in space thank you guys for watching and see you guys soon again bye